I've been working on solving a very difficult algebra equation, and now I'm calling on the community members to help me. I need your help. Can you evaluate the expression 6 plus 4 cubed? Hello there, Keegan the Scourge here. I heard you needed some help solving your equation. I happen to be quite good at finding x, so I thought I'd give you a hand. <laughs> so you asked for 6 plus 4 cubed. 6, of course, our operation has plus there, addition, 4. Yes, yes, indeed. Of course, four cubed, I know cubes. That means I need three of those little fours there. Yes, yes, so there you have it. Six plus four cubed. I've written my expression, now it's time to evaluate. So four cubed, that means I've got three of those fours. I can rewrite that like this. Four times four times four. And I know that 4 times 4 is, of course, 16. So I'm going to rewrite that as well. Get rid of two of those 4s because 4 times 4 gives us 16. Whoa, it's very difficult ever since that crocodile took my hand. 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 times 4, well, oh, that's a tricky one, let's see, 16 times 4, well that equals 64, so I can get rid of the 16 and the 4 and just put 64, now I can't forget about my 6 plus, so I'm going to bring that down, 6 plus 64, well that's easy one, that's just simple addition, 6 plus 64 gives me an answer. 70. And there you have it. There's your answer. 70. So there you have it. I've solved your equation. Where do I collect my bounty? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Morgan Le Fay. So when I heard the professor was looking for help solving a problem with exponents, I just knew I had to help. Um, you probably don't know this, but math is my favorite subject. Uh, so when I'm on tour and I'm working with my tutor, I really excel at exponents. And when I heard that it was an exponent problem, I knew I just had to put my two cents in. So here we go. The professor is trying to solve 6 plus 4 cubed. Well, I know that 6 cubed is really 6 times 6 times 6. And I know that 4 cubed is really 4 times 4 times 4. And if I'm adding them together, that means I'm looking for the sum of these two amounts. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 equals 64. So I have to add that amount to my other amount. 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 times 6 equals 216. So in order to get my final answer, I'm going to add 216 plus 64. And if I add those together, I'm going to get 280. So there's your answer, Professor. 280. I'll see you folks later. Hello there, I'm Dr. Michaels. I'm a scientist, so you can trust what I say. Six plus four cubed is just a simple exponential expression. 
Just like any exponential expression, when you're solving it, all you have to do is remember PEMDAS. PEMDAS, remember, stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And it tells us what order to do our operations. So see the P at the beginning of PEMDAS? That lets me know that I have to do the parentheses first. And inside the parentheses, I have 6 plus 4. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. 6 plus 4 equals 10. So I now replace the 6 plus 4 with our equivalent value of 10. 6 plus 4 cubed is the same thing as 10 cubed. And 10 cubed is easy to solve. I know that's 10 times itself three times. Remember our exponent tells us how many times to multiply our base. So 10 times 10 times 10. And I can take this and I can work through it by saying, well, 10 times 10 equals 100. And 100 times that third 10, 100 times 10 gives us 1,000. So there's your answer. 6 plus 4 cubed equals 1,000. Glad I could help. Hmm. Maybe I should have said 4 cubed plus 6.